Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. We're going to talk a little bit about sequences and uh, what what they look like in their patterns. So here here's one where it's a uh, negative six, negative two, two, six. So what's the next number? Um, one thing uh, that you like to do is is to compare what is the the difference between the numbers as we go across. So this one it looks like what do you have to add to negative six to get negative two? You have to add four, right? And then again to go from negative two to two, I add four. And then to go from two to six, I add four. So you you assume that this um, pattern will continue in this way. So what's six plus four is ten. So this one the rule is to add four. Okay. Um, this is called an arithmetic. sequence. Okay, and that involves adding repeatedly. Okay, and now um, in this pattern, so this is in the next sequence, um, so it looks like we add 2, but then if we try to add 2 again, we should be at 6, but so that doesn't work. Um, what about multiplying? So 2 times what gives you 4? 2 times 2, right? And then 4 times 2 is 8. So it looks like my pattern is multiplying by 2 each time. So if I were to multiply by 2 again, uh, 2 times 16 would be 32. Okay, so this rule is to multiply by 2. And now this is called a geometric sequence. Okay, and it's when you're multiplying repeatedly. Okay, uh, here's a kind of a different type. So here we don't add anything. Then it looks like we add one. Then it looks like we add two. Then it looks like we add actually we add the previous number, right? So this is um, kind of a special sequence. It's called um, the Fibonacci sequence. And it's also called a recursive um, recursive sequence where it depends on the previous number. So, the, see we add 1 plus 1 to get 2, we add 1 plus 2 to get 3, 2 plus 3 to get 5, so then the next one would be 3 plus 5 to get 8, and then the next one 5 plus 8 to get 13, and so on. Okay, um, so what happens here? So, 4 what do I do to get to 12? So I'd have to add 8, but that doesn't work to there, so I will think about multiply. So 4 times 3 would get to 12, and then times, so this is a geometric, right? So times 3 times 3. So the next one would be 36 times 3, which is 18, 9, 10, 108. Okay, so this that is a geometric sequence. 